So Lucy Allen becomes a, another Conservative MP to uh, make a fuss and try to uh, and, and try to wring some sort of virtue out of a resignation. So she is part of the Lee Anderson group. Lee Anderson is the um, Labour uh, councillor who defected to the Conservatives and um, runs around the place championing, quote, the Red Wall. And uh, he's uh, quite an extraordinary um, quite an extraordinary man. Comes across as slightly abrasive. He's the person who's tried, who tried to um, uh, cheat with his election, trying to um, give the impression that he had voters when maybe he didn't entirely. But, you know, I'm sure many people have tried those sort of tricks. He just got caught out on camera. Uh, as for Lucy Allen, uh, she's the MP for Telford. She's, decide she's done an ad in Doris, really. She's decided that she's not standing at the next election, but she's staying on until then. So she's trying to make a fuss at a time when uh, it's going to attract some sort of attention. And yet she wants to keep um, her income. She says she's decided to uh, not to stand at the next conservative, um, uh, uh, not, not to stand as a conservative at the next election. Uh, together with my fantastic team, she says, I will continue to serve our community to the best of my ability for the remainder of the Parliament. Well, I hope so. She doesn't want to behave like Nadine Doris, now does she? I, it's been an immense privilege to, uh, you know, she doesn't want to spend her time uh, like Nadine Doris and Rhys Mogg and indeed Lee Anderson on television rather than dealing with her um, constituency work. It's been an immense privilege to serve such an incredible town, unless, of course, she gets offered. Uh, to serve such an incredible town, particularly during a period when, against the odds, and despite my many local and national challenges, Telford has flourished. Against the odds and despite her efforts, Chelf Telford has flourished. Hmm. Um, I, I am honoured that so many of my constituents have trusted me to help them with some of the most sensitive and painful events in their lives. That's her job. I will, of course, continue. Uh, no commas around, of course. Um to support every resident until a successor is elected over the last 10 years, comma, should be. Uh, Telford has grown in optimism and confidence, uh, realising its true potential as the West Midlands economic powerhouse. I'm so pleased. Uh, it's a wonderful place to live and work, I agree. Uh, the air is clean, the light is beautiful, the housing is good value, and our green spaces are second to none. Nice try, colon. We have created new skilled jobs and fantastic opportunities for the next generation. Not very specific. But there we are. Uh, bluster and a little bit of rhetoric uh, and a lack of punctuation. Well, let's hope her successor can punctuate. <laughs>